Welcome back to Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa City. And you look at Joel Sherritt, the senior, who has a 26-0 record this year in the 190-pound class. Dan Gable was behind him. He didn't need to get this guy any more intense. That is his style, a grinder. He's in your face. He'll wear you down. And this crowd, which about a half an hour ago was hushed, wants to get up and yell again. What a job Gable has done since coming to Iowa. Remember, he, uh, he wrestled at Iowa State, and there was some blinking of the eyes when he came to Iowa City. Sherritt in the number two seat is J.J. McGrew. Sherritt, one of the emotional leaders of this Hawkeye team. He and McElravey, and McElravey being upset, a 57 win string broken in his final bout. Sherritt does not want to see that repeated, and neither do these Hawkeye fans. McGrew, by the way, the number three seed, the Oklahoma State senior, they're both seniors. And did I mention Gable? I don't think he'd like to see it either. No. Sherritt, the defending champion, this is his third final. Oh, McGrew with a beautiful single, very low around the ankle. He'll try to knock Sherritt down inbounds, and there it is. Two points for J.J. McGrew, 25-2 and two on the year. Management major, Brian of Charles and Goldie from Cleveland, Oklahoma. And just... As Marionetti came out against McElravey, McGrew comes out against Sherrod. A beautiful low single, gets it high in the air, sweeps the free leg out, covers and gets the first points with that takedown. Yeah, it's interesting you bring up Marionetti because both those guys faced very intense, aggressive wrestlers and sort of have given them a taste of their own medicine. There's Gable in the background, usually up and at him. Sherritt needs to get out. Oklahoma State, famous for their riding ability, does not want to sit in the bottom too long here. And there it is. Gets his escape, and they go out of bounds. 2-1. Sherritt gets a takedown here. This place is going to explode. They just don't want to believe that their two leaders are going to face the feet out of bounds again nice shot by McGrew again he seems to be doing that same kind of strategy sit and wait and let the over aggressive offensive minded Sherritt leave an opening that he can exploit he did say he would be extremely cautious and hope that Sherritt might make a mistake and then he would pounce on it again they're near the edge of the mat this isn't where Sherritt wants to be he wants to have McGrew in the center where he can work him. McGrew took a quick glance at his corner. With good reason, John Smith sitting over there. Yeah. Six-time gold medalist. And I have a feeling that Smith and Gable are going to enjoy a, a very healthy uh, rivalry. One minute There's that beautiful shot again by McGrew. Sherritt might have an opportunity to get a takedown. That could be one right there, but his uh, yeah. lead leg, yeah, his left leg is trapped underneath. And he better be careful. He doesn't want to let McGrew get too high here, or he's going to face possibly getting taken down again. And there could be back points. They gave the takedown there. Sherritt takes his first lead at 3-2. No, no back, no back. 23 no seconds back. left in the first period. And boy, that was close. It was Sherritt showing the ability he could put McGrew to his back that really kind of earned him that takedown. Right Demonstrated down. that he had control. He now leads 3-2. 10 seconds left to go in the first period. John Smith in the shirt, and that was Mark seconds, Perry guys. in the coat. Oklahoma State coaches trying to encourage okay, McGrew on. And I'll get Seeing close. momentum has changed a little here, and the crowd really getting involved. I'll get close. Get I think McGrew is unhappy with that takedown call. Up. Granby roll by McGrew. Oh. He's going to catch Sherritt. 
Oh, and Sherritt does a nice job to fight him off for it to be just an escape. Cardinal rule, give up one, but never two. So McGrew ties it up 3-3. Three, three. You know, Iowa's team had already clinched the title. How did Sherritt think about that? Second period. Well, the team race is pretty much already over, and uh, basically it's just, you know, defending my title right now, and it's not really, I'm not looking at it as defending, you know, my title from last year. I'm looking at it as, as winning this year's title. You know, the 1995 national title is a new title. It's not, I'm not defending 94, I'm winning 95. With an escape, now takes the lead 4-3 to three with that one-point maneuver. Keep it in there, keep it in there. Circle it around again. Get it in. Sherrod now getting in on the leg of McGrew, but they go out of bounds. That's Sherrod style. Get in your face, move you around, not give you a lot of time to kind of set up and relax, get a breath and set your own offense. He's going to be in your face, and you have to wrestle his style. That's what he does so well. And he wants to physically work exhaust in, you. Work it in, work that in. makes any Hawkeye happy is when you become physically exhausted. Do you sense that fatigue right now? I think I'm starting to a little bit, if not physical fatigue, certainly a little bit of mental fatigue, which causes that frustration. He had that mental edge until he got upset about let's this takedown call. Let's use it. Stay in there. Stay in there. There's that shot he likes to do. He feels very confident here. He nothing. also got into trouble last nothing. time he was here. We got nothing. We got nothing. We Make got sure nothing. it might work here just to get a stalemate. We got nothing. Nothing, guys. You can we hear the nothing. official screaming. You got, got nothing. nothing. Got nothing. No. There's the stalemate. 43 seconds left to go in the second period. And I don't want to say I sense physical fatigue right now, but I didn't see anything that warranted a timeout. Yeah. I don't see him think that he's hurt. He hasn't indicated any area of injury either. And you see head coach John Smith now checking on his wrestler. And that might be what McGrew needed, just to break from it, gather his thoughts, catch a breath, and come back a little bit more focused. the ears to get banged up. Off the face, off the face. Open it up, don't block it. Warning about an arm underneath on the face of Sherry. Get off his face, it's hot Oh! McGrew trying a duck under, almost paid the price. Sherry was waiting, almost knocked him flat to his back. No points awarded at all. 19 seconds left to go in period number two. And the uh, Iowa senior, Joel Sherritt, still leads. Even though Sherritt appears to be now uh, really pressing his style, getting to be dominant, the score is four to three. And here McGrew has an opportunity to take the lead. He's only got five seconds to finish this, and he'll get it. He'll get oh, it. Yeah. And the crowd couldn't believe it. Five, four. We take a quick break. McGrew, can he make the upset oh, stick? We find out in a moment. Go no underneath, no, Joel Sherritt, the 26-0 senior from Iowa, is down 5-4. And he lets him have a two-point lead. And immediately goes to try to tie it. Sherrod has an opportunity to score here. Doesn't want to let it go. McGrew doesn't appear to be trying to work to improve. There he goes. By ducking that leg, he has an opportunity now. He could get another takedown here. And he's he going got to. It. Eight to four. The Oklahoma State fans on hand go wild. Let's go. 
Jared did a nice shot and is when he's ducked that leg, in other words, put his head under it, he allowed himself an opportunity to be able to turn and face Jared and earn the two points. He leads eight to four, and we have a fast start on Sherritt. What a turnaround. It, it appeared Let's when that room. whole sequence began with the Sherritt was going to tie it. Get on. The intensity is still there. I don't think that's going to disappear, but you can bet now that in the third period, McGrew here is going to try to ride Sherritt, keep him down, hang on to the leg, wait for the referee to break it here. This is killing time. They're just riding wait time. for the official to, to break this action. They called a stall on McGrew for just hanging on to the leg. That's a point for Sherritt. It's 8-5 with 44 seconds left to go, and they'll go back to the middle. And he's going to take a timeout now for what appears to be a contact. Dan Gable just sitting back now in the past when something like that would happen, he would be up and on the referee. And this time he stays composed and tries to chat with Sherritt. Ah, uh, he was hanging back, he was hanging back, so it's just, it's just, it's just behave. And they question about the eye, apparently it's okay. That's the Iowa band. That's a very unusual pose for Dan Gable. He just can't wait to get back. Let me know when you're ready. And Adam. He's only got 44 seconds left. He's down 8-5. And you know he's figuring the quick escape and then the, the takedown to tie. And share it. Has an advantage here. McGrew has already been warned for stalling. In fact, he's been penalized for a point for stalling. 32 ticks are left. He couldn't even get the escape point, though. Give McGrew credit. McGrew will hang on. He'll do his best. This is where the real deb debate occurs. And are you supposed to ride on top or look for a fall? The rule says you look for a fall. Here's Sherrod will get the escape now. And now can he get a takedown in 20 seconds? That's what he needs to tie. He's not going to get it. He's not going to get it. McGrew's going to hang on here, and I think that's going to be uh, enough time to kill the clock. He's in good position. He's in good position. That'll do it. McGrew will upset Sherrod. Another Iowa Hawkeye. A one seed falls by the wayside. They can't believe it. It's happening in their own home building. And I think that was Dan Gable looking like he was in shock. J.J. McGrew, 24-year-old senior, goes out in style. His 26th win this year, and he gets his first national title don't go anywhere folks we still got a big treat in store the heavyweights tally thompson and justin greenlee